guys it's Michelle here thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel in today's video I have a fun unboxing of the new August plan anything box this comes out today well I'm filming this early but it's, it comes out on August 1st and you are not gonna believe what is in here it's something totally different and exciting and I'm so excited to show it to you if you have not heard of Plan Anything before, it's a monthly subscription box, but you can also do a one-time purchase if you just want to get the one box you see or if you just want to purchase one now and then. And I will put my uh, Plan Anything affiliate link in the description box. I'd love it if you use that if you order anything from Plan Anything because it does help me out a little. Okay. I'm going to show you one thing before I open this August box. This is available now. This is a gorgeous autumn florals cover. So pretty kind of get you in the fall mood. I know it's still summer and we've got a lot of summer spreads left to do, but jumping forward just a little bit, look how pretty the inside cover has that gorgeous leaf print. And then all the beautiful florals in the fall or the autumn tones with the orange string. So let me show you what it looks like with my planner in it. This planner, like I said, it's available now if you wanted to grab it. It's on the Planning Thing website. It's $25. It will hold a classic size happy planner. And I just love the way that the planners feel in here. They feel just so substantial and chunky. I just love it. And then the inside covers you could definitely use for storage, for some extra stickers, or to just hold your planner in place. But that is that. So if you want that, like I said, available now, and my link is in the description box. But let's get to what's in the autumn box. All right, it's called Autumn Mood. And as always, you're gonna get a card that tells everything that's in the box. So I'm gonna pull everything out off camera. I'll go ahead and open everything and then I'll show you individually. You're gonna get two rolls of washi tape. These are so pretty and they coordinate with everything in the box. So these are the regular size rolls and let me open them and show you what they look like. Aren't those so pretty? I can just think of so many ways to use that in some autumn spreads. Okay, and next you always get a gorgeous pin and this time is no exception with the gorgeous orange crystals. And it writes in black ink okay and then the next thing you're going to get is this super cute pouch to store your like all your fall goodies in or whatever you want you could use it to to keep planner supplies in or or you name it you could keep it in your handbag but look how cute so it's got a gold zipper and it has that really pretty autumn print the next item is what is so super fun and exciting about this one this has fewer items but this next item packs a punch it is a fall sticker book oh my gosh look it is so chunky it's 30 30 sticker sheets 610 stickers and they're all fall stickers including seasonal ones so it is the first time that Amber at Planty Thing has come out with a sticker book. And I don't know about you, but I'm always running out of fall stickers. Uh, in my seasonal books, I believe I've almost used all of my fall stickers because there's just, they're so fun to use whenever the, the air turns crisp and it starts to be fall. It's just so much fun to get out all your fall things. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through this beauty. And then after this, I'm going to decorate a spread. I think I'm going to decorate a weekly spread in my social media planner, but dated for, for in the fall. But I want to go ahead and get it decorated so I can show you how cute these are. Okay, so th there are tons of florals in here, but also tons of cute seasonal stickers. So the first sheet is these gorgeous orange, brown, kind of an ivory color florals, just like larger blooms. And then some smaller blooms in the same color. And then I love when she includes the leaves, like the little foliage. And then look at those clusters. I love a fall color palette that includes like a pale blush pink. I just think it's so, so pretty. So I'm so glad that she did that here. So a page of clusters. These are like, 
they're like little frames so they're clear in the middle isn't that so cute so you can just put that down in on your planner and write in an appointment or someone's birthday or whatever so you get circles and ovals and there are a couple more clusters there at the bottom all in that same gorgeous color palette with a little bit of the pink and like the apricot so this one's in like a square shape so they're kind of like little boxes but you actually will write on the paper that's in the middle that you put it on oh my goodness look at these so there are tons of boxes in here so two of the the longer like the sidebar boxes or they don't have to be used in the sidebar but they fit perfectly and then don't you just love all these neutral colors Alrighty, and then pumpkins. Look at the pumpkins in these glorious colors. Oh, I love it. Almost reminds me a little bit of the Happy Planner, the Homebody Seasons. It has that had that sort of pastel kind of fall vibe. Look how pretty. All the pumpkins. Now I'm a huge summertime fan i love 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 summertime i'm not i'm not rushing fall but when fall does get here i'm so excited to use more of these which like i said i am going to go ahead and use some today but i absolutely love it oh look at these and like that sort of terracotta like the rust burnt orange and the pale pink together So many pretty stickers. I hope Amber comes in, comes out with more sticker books because the stickers are so, so gorgeous. So Amber, if you're listening, we love sticker books. So here are some smaller blooms with the little leaves, little leaves and branches. And then here is a different floral. Okay, so I like, there's several different ones. So this one is like the brown and the pale pink, ivory, the lighter orange. And then we go into like this kind of really neutral vibe. So we looked at that already. And now there is this one that has a little bit more of like the maroon and the brown. So some clusters and some little swags and then also some of those like boxes. I love the idea of that because it's, it's a box sticker, but it's, it's like a frame. It's perfect. All right, and so more of the full boxes. Look how pretty. I love that color like that. What do you call that? Like a rust, I guess. And the little detail on the boxes, the little pumpkins and florals. pretty so this is a totally different floral uh, color palette or pattern I love these big corner pieces I might use these today which I haven't looked at everything so I should probably shouldn't commit but these are gorgeous so pretty I love it. I like that these these are almost like an end of summer kind of going into fall vibe. So pretty. I'm I'm gonna I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use those. Oh look at that long piece. That is stunning. And then with the clusters. Then a page of those like frames or boxes. So a square, a diamond, some ovals, and some round shapes. And then here are more boxes. Look how pretty. Here's like a coral color, like a tangerine or terracotta, mustardy, all the fall colors. Oh my goodness, look at these old pickups loaded down with pumpkins and like fall leaves and everything like they just came from the pumpkin patch.
Y'all, I just can't even with this. Oh, and look at the little trees. Oh, how cute. Okay, and here are some Halloween stickers. These are too cute, y'all. Look at the ghosts and the pumpkins. I'm obsessed. Oh, these spider webs are so cute. And some jack-o'-lantern faces. Here's a cat by a cauldron. Some candy, bats, candy corn. This is going to be so much fun. And here are the Halloween boxes. Look at that. That's adorable with the, with the spider web in the corner and then the two little ghosties. She has outdone herself. It's always fun when you get more sticker sheets than usual in the Planty Thing boxes, but to get a whole fall sticker book is just too exciting. Oh, look at these with the little mushrooms and the owl. I just love this. This is just like a fall forest vibe. And then we've got some little leaf. You could definitely use these as functional boxes to write in, like the leaves, because these are paper. And then the little acorns, so layered together, they'd be so cute. And it's like that leaf pattern that's in the on the inside of that fall cover I showed you, that autumn floral cover. Oh, and look how dainty and delicate these are. These remind me of like, I don't know, ethereal, like fairy garden flowers and colors. So pretty. This one is just really, really neutral and soft. And then these boxes. I don't know. Maybe I'll use these today. Okay, and then we've got some pumpkins. And then look at this, like this frame with the leaves around it and the pumpkin at the bottom. So cute, adorable. And then some of the larger flowers and more pumpkins. And those really soft neutral colors. This is gonna be really hard to choose what I wanna use today. So some clusters. The color in these is gorgeous, look how vibrant that orange is. Got a few more pages. I don't want this to end because it's so pretty. Some more of those larger blooms in those colors and the branches. Look how cute. Cute! So these boxes have like the tiny floral print, almost like whenever I see this kind of look like a, a small pattern, it reminds me of vintage wallpaper. Love it. Love all of these colors. Okay, so that is the sticker book, all 30 glorious pages. So, so pretty. Okay, so let me show you again what all you get. Of course, you get this glorious sticker book, 30 pages of fall stickers. You're going to get those two beautiful washi tapes, the floral roll and then the one that's like the leaves and pumpkins. I'll put that there because that was the, that's what they look like on paper. And then this super cute pouch to keep your goodies in and this pen. Don't forget the link will be in the description box for my Planny Thing affiliate link. It's called Autumn Mood and it will be available. It's available now August 1st or until it sells out, which I have a feeling this one is going to sell out. This is her first time to come out with a an entire sticker book. I hope she has one in the works for holidays too for Christmas. Um, but so it's available. All supplies last. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my pages in my social media planner and I think I'll do a I'll do a spread in September so when I get to September I'll turn the page and it'll be a nice surprise that I have that spread already done 
All right, and I've been playing around with different layouts for my social media planner because I have the, I started this year with the big Bloom From Within Happy Planner. I'm finding that I like a classic size better for social media. So what I'm gonna do, I may have a new planner by then, but I can always pop these pages in. This is the Everyday Goals collection from the Happy Planner, and this is an undated planner. So I'm just gonna grab any two pages and I'll just cover up that rainbow spine. And try this layout this will be for the week of September 20th through 26th so first I need to cover this up I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back all right I'm back I got all my dates on and I got the spine covered and I'm just gonna do some Tombow correction tape over the top of this little colorful note section and now I have a clean slate to work with so I guess the first thing I need to do is find out what kind of color story I want to go with I also pulled out a piece of just scrapbook paper in this kind of wood print. I think I'm going to cut these in the size of the boxes just to have um, some solid boxes to mix in. So let's see here. I also pulled out this little mini Holidays and Seasons uh, tiny sticker pad and I want to flip to the fall section because I do want one like box quote up here. I always forget about these little sticker books. That one's cute, but I'm kind of thinking this, fall in love with moments. And that would be so pretty with this color story and with the wood mixed in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with this. I wonder if I should layer it off of this. I think I will. All right, so let me grab this little, I've just got a little scotch tape runner. Hopefully I have enough. So I'm gonna have this just layer this off of it. I think that's super cute. All right, I'm, I like that for us to get us started. Just trim off the excess there. Okay, let's see. I would like to have, you know, a little floral action around this. I just lightly laid that down so I can trim off this excess. Cute. And then do this right over here. I'm thinking I really want to use this long piece, but I want to cut it right in the middle. Trim that straight down the middle. do like just a couple of boxes at a time just like I would sections of washi so like that one there like that And then I want one more section over, like maybe right here. Okay, I think I like the placement of that. I still have a little bit left over also. I think 
I want to use some of these little trees. That's cute right there in the corner. And I kind of want another one though. Let's see. Maybe one of these. just kind of like a little cluster of trees and what about one of those trucks I don't want to do a lot of pumpkins yet but I want to do some so let's see let's look at this smaller one that is cute I do want to get a little bit more height. Let me lift up this one and then it'll just look like this one is taller than the others. Then I have this piece of, this is the piece of tree that I cut off the side there. Okay, that just kind of covers up that the, the little tree trunks don't go all the way to the ground. Now, let's do some more trees over here. All right, I'm gonna do this one there. Gosh, these trees are adorable. Kind of a medium one. And let's do one of these coming up. I want one or two more quotes, so I'm gonna pull out Hooray Seasons and look at the fall section in here. So, we have, oh, this fall fun is cute. Or harvest in full color. Okay, I think maybe I'll use this fall fun right down here. Alright, that's very cute. I don't want to use much more because I want to stick to this this book, but I felt like I needed a quote. Alright, and let's see here. Okay, now let me get to those leaves. There was a page of leaves with the mushrooms. we got to have some leaves on the first week of fall. Okay, and I don't want them there to be too many. Let's see. I think I want them to be just scattered throughout. So... I don't want to use all of these leaves though. They're so cute. Okay, here's a goldish one. Okay, I'm gonna wait on this for just a minute, but I do want to put maybe a long box over here. Let me scoot that over. I think that looks really cute there. 
and let's see I think I'll do I want something more in this eggplant color so there was a box there was a box in this section here we go hmm I think I'm gonna do it over here I've never done a social media spread in a like a vertical layout so this will be interesting I may love it I may not love it we'll see I do have this quote over here too how cute I'm gonna just put that there all right perfect now I just need to get to work over here let's see Let me get back to those boxes where I was these neutral ones so I think I'll do a do this one over here okay I'll do that one there kind of want one more so Hmm, let's get to some of the others and see. Oh, I like this one. I think I like this one up here. And I want to use some of these pumpkins get back to where those were even though they're different color stories I feel like everything in this book kind of goes you can flip and pretty much match with anything so let's do over here I think I'll do this pumpkin I think I'll do this pumpkin right over here that's cute and better do some over here too let's see I think I'll do one of these green ones okay now I feel like I need more leaves falling down all right so I need a flurry of leaves Let's see. That is so cute. Okay, here's one. I need green leaves too. maybe I should have one of these in here I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging yeah, I feel like I can work one of these in I'm gonna put this over on Tuesday right there and then if I put this here move this leaf then I can put this here and have these layered off like this okay cute I really like that and then I'll put this over here all right, I think I want to continue this border across like with trees or pumpkins or leaves, florals, something just to carry it all the way through. Can't wait to use these Halloween stickers. All right, so I'm just going to start grabbing a lot of just anything to create a border. So I'm using that little branch. Okay, 
and just a little bit that's left on the other side I'm going to put right here. I just want to fill it up. Let's do some of this. Just like that. brings in more of that sort of eggplant color like this. Okay. So I want to add some pumpkins. I think I'll put one up here. And I'm going to add this one right here. Okay, let's see. What else do we have in the way of a tree? I want a kind of large one. Let's go with this one. Do more trees behind it. Just kind of tuck it back there so it looks like it's a little taller. All right, now over here, let's do one more of these. Let's do this one right here and since this is a social media spread too, I don't need a lot of room to write. So this will be fun, even if it's just for this one week. Let's do one more tree here. How about this one? For our little scene, that almost looks like a little shrub, cute. And I'll put this right here. And I need some more pumpkins. Let me turn back to those pumpkins for a second. Oh, not those ones. I do need to finish this little landscape deal I've got going on. there. All right, let's do this here. All right, I'm going to grab a couple of these little branches or leaves to place along the bottom for our little landscape. Let me get this little green leaf here. Just put that there. Like this eggplant color to kind of bring some more of that color in here. All right. See, I think I'll have this one sort of peeking onto the page because then I can use it somewhere else. right there and then let's do like a brownish leaf I think maybe one more tree would be good this one that's sort of green and yellow and then I just need a little bit more action over here like some kind of leaf or something got a little scrap there that's perfect 
one more small leaf. There. So maybe let's do one more. Let's do a pumpkin here. Oh my goodness, that's cute. All right, the only thing I want to add now is I want to add uh, something to the 22nd because that's the first day of fall. And I pulled out Happy Year because it has these bronzy color letters. And I kind of pieced together it's fall, y'all. I did that before beforehand. So I think I'll do that right up here because it just needs something here. And I just kind of cut apart, I've done this before when I can't find a quote, just cut apart some of these and kind of create my own little alpha stickers. And that one's, that exclamation point is just an upside down I. All right, and I think I will add a couple of bullet points, maybe here and here. I'm gonna move this little branch so I can put a couple of bullet points here. All right, and I think I'll just do, let's see. I think I wanna do like some kind of, how about just these little orange asterisks? And let's do a couple here. Okay, that's it. I'm loving this corner and all the trees and leaves with that cute little pickup loaded down with pumpkins. It's called Autumn Mood. It's available now until uh, or while supplies last. And if you like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was so much fun playing with fall stickers a bit early. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.